Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, on this channel we of course have uh, today I'll be posting some of the first videos of the top 10 for shortwave listeners and beginners. Well another uh, vid thing that you should know if you want to become a shortwave listener and my little tip here is to learn a little bit about where things are on the shortwave bands. That means this web page that you can check out is actually a nice list rundown of the different bands. So, of course, this one starts in the long wave band, but you will have every little band. So, it, it kind of takes every little section of short wave. So, here, for example, uh, you know, 3000, uh, 3150, 3200, fixed stations, uh, communications, and radio teletype, 3234. Uh, interesting thing, 90 meter band, uh, time signals, stuff like that. So it actually will tell you the rundown, general rundown of the bands for um, what they are for. So where is amateur radio? Where is maritime stuff? Where is aeronautical or whatever? So this is the place to look at because you'll have a general idea of what and where to listen to the different signals you hear on the bands and this is of course uh, useful because if you're searching for a specific item a specific thing to listen to you'll have an idea of where you can tune in and it's very important to know that so this is a nice rundown and it goes all the way up to uh, 30,000 kilohertz uh, shortwave being 3,000 to 30,000 kilohertz officially but uh, nice rundown and lots of information about what you'll hear on the bands. I think it's a nice little list. And it's not super long, you know. You could maybe print it and keep it, you know, handy so that you can always have uh, a list of, okay, where do I listen to the different things? It's very helpful. I mean, if you're looking for international broadcast stations, knowing where they are is actually a very, very good idea. Uh, if you're listening, you know, you want to listen to amateur radio stuff, well, where are the amateur radio bands on the shortwave scale? It's very useful to know that. And this will help you also with my first video of the top 10 uh, tips for beginners. I was, um, my first video is about if you don't have a shortwave radio, you can tune in online software to find receivers on a website called SDR.HU. Well, of course, when you get there is what do I tune? Where do I tune? depending on what to listen to where well you'll have part of the answer here because here you'll know what frequency ranges are for what uh, type of communications if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching